So today's the big day. I cut off the tag. <laughs> and the reason that um, I want to go ahead and do this today is because whew, it's mine. I want to play with this. The clochette, the key bell, and where exactly I want to go ahead and put my lock because I've never had these items on a purse before. And so that's what this video will be about today. Okay, so I want to go ahead and start with the clochette. And I've never had one of these before and I really don't like that it's very bumpy there and so bulky. And so I didn't know if there was a way that I could maybe make this not be as bumpy as it is now it's interesting that it it has it double looped there where it seems like they it's twisted and then the key is latched on there and as i mentioned i really don't know a whole lot about how this is supposed to go this is my first item that has this clochette and so i want to make it aesthetically pleasing so i'm going to take it off and i made sure that i washed my hands so that even though the leather is pre-treated, I just want to make sure that my hands are clean. And so I'm going to take it out of here and hope that I don't regret it. <laughs> but wow, that looks like it just was stuck in there and then twisted. And... I don't really know how to fix that. I think it's just been twisted for so long, but I feel like that's what's creating the issue here and how it's twisted there. And I don't really like that at all. I think what I am going to try to do is to make this less intrusive I am going to try to put the ring around this opening as opposed to having it twisted like that I'm trying to figure out how I can untwist this but I don't think there's a way I just think it's just twisted. So I'm gonna have to just accept that as it is because I don't know how else to undo it. Maybe somehow I can put the ring through here. Yeah, so what I did was I just put the ring actually through there so that I won't lose the keys and so maybe somehow I can put one on this side and one on that side and it falls in between that little longer piece there where there's one key on each side I actually don't think I need a key on each side let me see I never made sure that both keys open this. I mean, I'm sure they do, but yeah. So I'm gonna get a little microfiber cloth and just clean this lock because it has a lot of prints on it for some reason. I'm just gonna clean it with this microfiber cloth. That's actually from James Avery. And I wanna figure out where I really want to put this lock because that's the first time I've had a lock as well. I've never had a lock before. And so now, let me read it. 
adjust these keys again. Now what I'm going to do is put this through here again. And hopefully those keys put them in place before I slide this down. So it makes it look flatter for sure. But this twisting that occurred before is just causing me some grief there. And I don't like it. It makes it look old. But there's not much I can do unless I just don't pull it all the way through, which I could probably leave it like that. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to push this through the front of that so that it'll stay facing that way because I don't want it to stick out a different way. And so I think I think that's a whole lot better there. See, it's not as fat and you can't see the twist. And, and unless I tug and pull on it, there's not much that can happen as far as it coming down. And I'm okay with the little keys showing there. I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal to me. The lock, I like that I can lock the purse, actually, if I have it somewhere. Kind of doesn't make sense, though, that the keys are just right there. I guess if you didn't know that the keys were there, then that would be one thing. And also, the lock, it has the circled LV there, and then it has just the wording there. Call me crazy, but I like the wording more than I do just having the the symbol there and so I'm thinking about putting this lock here for now maybe like that and just letting it be there until I need to use it or want to use it that's what I'm thinking that I want to do as far as the lock and that clochette. As I mentioned, it's not something that I had had before. So I didn't really know where I wanted it or where I wanted to put it. And I've been reading up on this pre-treated leather. I don't know if at some point, it's, it is going to patina more. I think the SA has said that, one said that it wouldn't, and the other said that it would. I am debating whether I wanna spray it with the Apple Guard. I don't think it would do it harm if I did. But at the same time, I kind of, if I don't need to, I just really don't want to either. So basically, that's what this video is about. Just pretty much committing to taking the tags off, situating my little clochette, and just letting you know where I was going to put my little lock for now. So thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.